Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to take a look at something really cool. This, obviously, as you can tell from the thumbnail, but also the image here before you that's telling you exactly what it is, is the Dennis Nedry Getaway Pack from Mattel for the Jurassic World Legacy Collection. And you can see here what we have is a really, really cool set. And honestly, at first, I wasn't sure that I even wanted to open it. I absolutely love the appearance of this set here, kind of with the backdrop of the box art and everything it's got the perfect background there as far as the box art goes and everything looks gorgeous here within the box art of course there is one major issue here with the jeep but even excluding that issue i think the box art is just so beautiful and this set is definitely worth purchasing just to keep in box i honestly wasn't sure that i even wanted to open it to review it for you guys but uh, sometimes you just got to make sacrifices for your viewers so hopefully you guys appreciate the fact that i am going to open this up and review it for you guys even though i really want to keep it in package Fingers crossed I'll be able to stumble across another one at some point. Keep that one in package. But again, as far as the box art goes, it looks beautiful. And as do the figures. And then here on the back, we can see that, again, the Dilophosaurus, the Jeep, and Nedry are all included. And I love this one little area down here that says stick included. So we do even have a stick included in the set. So without further ado, let's go ahead, break this all out of the box, and take a look at it. So here is our Jeep. It does not have the mirrors on, which we will put on here then. They do come separate. We also have Dennis Nedry himself, who has kind of a little bit of a twisted ankle thing going on here. He looks a little weird. So now he's in there. We've also got the stick. And we have our Dilophosaurus, who just kicked Nedry right in the head so that he could come in here and now... He looks super angry and is about to bite Nedry, but you can see that everything looks really nice out of the packaging. I'm really psyched to get a closer look at all of this because there is quite a bit to get through, and it's probably one of the more exciting releases as far as like an actual kind of a playset goes from Mattel. As we haven't had too many in the past, but we now actually have one here. And also, a really exciting aspect is the fact that we have Dennis Nedry now re-released, as we previously were only able to get him through the SDCC exclusive outside of the Amber Collection version. So it's nice now to have another version of Nedry, but really cool looking here at first glance. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get a closer look right now. So starting with the Dilophosaurus, this is the same sculpt as far as the Dilophosaurus goes that we've had numerous times already. It's the Attack Pack version as far as the sculpt goes, but we can see that we definitely have some new paint, which I think looks really quite cool. Fairly similar to the Jurassic Park version, but definitely some differences as far as like the brown here on the back and everything. And I apologize if you hear some banging and stuff in the background. There are some children over here to play some nieces and nephews and everything going on upstairs while I review this. So again, apologies for the banging and everything if you hear that. But you can see that as far as the actual paintwork goes, we have a really nicely painted head here on the Dilophosaurus with a nice greenish coloration. You can also see a beautiful yellow up there, making that crest stand out quite beautifully as far as the Dilophosaurus goes. You can see the eyes are painted with a nice orange, which look really good. You have a nice black pupil. You can even see an area of like a little bit of a darker green that kind of stripes through the face. Over here on this side, the paintwork also looks really quite nice, very precise. Overall, I love that the yellow just stays like within the crest, but you can kind of see like a green that kind of borders around. I think it looks really nice because of that. The inside of the mouth looks really good as well. You can see that the inside has a nice realistic coloration going on in there. Beautifully painted, given a nice gloss coat so it shines quite realistically. The teeth as well are painted really nicely. They look very well done. There's no sloppiness as far as the teeth go or anything like that. The jaw is not articulated though on this, which is quite interesting. I think the previous versions had articulation in the jaw. This one does not. As far as the frill goes, though, we can see that beautiful Jurassic Park style paint scheme going on for the frill. You have some nice variations of reds, yellows, and greens included. It's all very nice and naturally applied, and that scene is, again, pretty much straight taken out of Jurassic Park right there. Looks super cool, and I love, again, how accurate the Mattel figures always are. They really do a great job as far as capturing accuracy, and I think the Dilophosaurus sculpt-wise looks pretty much just like it did in the film. 
As we move back here into the body though, the only other paintwork that we really have is this brown area here on the back. You can see it starts kind of at the bottom of the neck and runs until we get right past the hip region, almost into the tail, but kind of ending abruptly right there before the tail really starts to pick up. And other than that, I don't really see much going on. We do actually have the black speckling here on the figure. No coloration here on the underside, which is a little bit of a downside, but there is the Jurassic Facts app code if you would like to add this to your collection. But unfortunately, there really is nothing else going on with the Dilophosaurus paint-wise. No painted nails, nothing like that, but it does still look really quite nice. And then as far as Dennis Nedry goes, you can see that as far as the likeness of Dennis Nedry, it's actually pretty good. You know, it definitely has a genuine Nedry type of a look. I love the fact that he's wearing glasses. His eyes seem to be painted really nicely, although they're a little hard to really see. Through the glasses, the hair looks really nicely done, nicely detailed and beautifully painted. There's no sloppiness as far as that goes. The paint actually all over the figure looks great. As far as making sure nothing looks sloppy, he has his really nice jacket, which you can pull out, and you can see that we can take a better look here at the inside of Nedry's shirt. You can see that the arms are, of course, yellow. The shirt just kind of, or actually coat, I should say, just kind of slips over. So, although it looks, you know, from a distance, it definitely looks like it's all one jacket, but the arms themselves obviously are just yellow. But you can pull the jacket kind of open a little bit. Again, see the detailing of Nedry's shirt, and everything looks really quite nice beautiful wrinkles and everything within the shirt making sure it looks super lifelike and super realistic you can see that the belt and pants and everything are really nicely done even the buckle of the belt is really nicely painted actually it's incredibly carefully painted which you can see there look at that super nicely done the hands also have some really nice paint work to them and then as we move down here the only other area that really includes paint would be the shoes of Nedry and they as well look great everything as far as the detailing aspect of Nedry goes looks really nice you can see lots of wrinkles sculpted out within his pants and I do believe that this is actually I'm pretty sure I heard that this is an entirely different Nedry figure than the SDCC version which is really cool because we now have different variants obviously of Nedry I mean obviously the entire getup of Nedry is different from the SDCC exclusive but I have heard that the actual figure itself is sculpted out differently compared to the previous version, which is really cool. And then we do have our stick as well, which, you know, it's just a stick. If my camera would focus on it, there we go. It's just a stick. It's nothing incredible, but does still look quite fun. And then we have the Jeep itself, which as far as a beautiful Jurassic Park look goes, it is spot on and really well done if you ask me you can see that the headlights are nicely done all of the detailing in general of the jeep looks gorgeous you have that beautiful jurassic park logo right there as well as over here on the door it is obviously jeep number 12 we can see the jeep logo here also on the side the only area that is obviously a huge letdown for many people is the fact that it's obviously missing the red stripe that would be back here in that area Compared to what we see here on the front, and even the previous release as far as the Jeep goes, did have the red stripe. This one does not, which a lot of people have been a little upset about. But unfortunately, I don't think there's anything we can really do about it at this point. You can always customize yours to include the red stripe so that it looks correct, you know, looks accurate, screen accurate. But I'm not that worried about it, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Maybe at some point Mattel will correct that, release another version with the red stripe, and this one will be a pretty cool kind of a rare variant. Who knows? But you can see again here on the back, it all looks really nicely done. The entire Jeep is just absolutely beautiful, very nicely detailed, and incredibly well done in every aspect aside from that red stripe. And you can actually take the back here off so that we can now look inside the Jeep. So this does disconnect, which is really cool. And you can now see inside the Jeep and obviously our human figures would fit nicely in there, including Nedry, who we would just then slide in there, which I'm not going to do right now. I'm just going to stand him in there, but he can obviously fit in there quite well. And you can create all kinds of really cool scenes and dioramas with your Jeep and your Nedry figure. The underside also looks really beautiful. As per usual, Mattel does a great job yet again on another Jurassic release. Again, the only thing missing on this is the stripe, but 
other than that, I mean, that's the only thing I personally noticed, but other than that, it is yet another fantastic Legacy Collection release. You also, of course, have the Venom, which we actually did not look at, but it's a nice looking, very nice glossy appearance to it. It has a translucency to it as well, which you would then shove into the mouth of your Dilophosaurus, and there you go. Really, again, completing the scene of this, you know, entire set right there but one thing i will say that about this dilophosaurus like articulation wise i did mention that the jaw doesn't articulate so there is no articulated jaw we do have the articulation of the frill which is nice articulation in the arms both sides and there is articulation in the legs but boy are they stiff i have never encountered legs on a mattel figure as stiff as these ones here are like they're just almost not movable like i just can barely do anything with them I'm not sure if that's just limited to mine or something that, you know, is going to be widespread, but obviously it's something you'll have to run under some hot water or use a hair dryer or something to loosen those areas up. And in fact, because the legs are so stiff, my Dilophosaurus doesn't even want to stand. He just wants to fall over because I can't get the legs in a good spot. Like even this leg is really, really stiff. I'm almost afraid to move it in fear of breaking the figure oh he's not going to stand at all so we're just going to have to push him back actually to show you the mobility of the jeep it is really really smooth as well that works perfectly just absolutely perfectly and then we've got nedry we'll stand the dilophosaurus right here lean him against the jeep the stick right there and then we've got the venom we'll just put that over there so as far as a size for these figures goes for Nedry back here, height-wise, you're looking at about the three and a half inch range or approaching nine centimeters. The Dilophosaurus is about the five and a half inch range or about 14 centimeters, which you can't really see. Height-wise, you're not really going to get too much of an accurate measurement height-wise because he's kind of scrunched down right now. But in this position, the tail is about two and three quarter inches or about seven centimeters. The frill is pretty much the same. So wow look at that he's actually standing but anyway as far as the jeep goes for a length on the jeep you're looking at right around the nine maybe nine and a half inch range if you run all the way out to the bottom right here yeah i'd say about nine and a half inches or about 24 23 and a half 24 centimeters somewhere in that area for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and robert muldoon next to our wonderful dennis nedry escape set that you can see here and you can get a pretty good idea of the sizes of each of the figures in comparison to each other here, especially when it comes to Muldoon and Nedry over here. You can see that Muldoon is a little bit taller than Nedry, but everything looks fantastic. And honestly, even excluding the red stripe here on the Jeep, this is just a really exciting release for me, and I am super happy with it. So this Mattel Jurassic World Legacy Collection Dennis Nedry Escape Set is absolutely awesome. Again, like I had just stated, there's only one downside that I personally can find with the set, and that is obviously a very big downside when it comes to this, and that is the missing red stripe on the Jeep. But if we move past that, which is pretty much well documented, I would say at this point, if you've been kind of keeping up with other people that have received theirs, by now you'll probably know that the red stripe is missing and if you haven't then i'm sorry to be the one to break that news to you but unfortunately again the red stripe is missing but moving past that the fact that we got a really cool kind of a story pack set here from mattel is definitely awesome because i feel like we just haven't had enough of those in the past it's not something that we get very often so anytime we can get a new one i'm pretty much over the moon excited about it especially one like this which is one of the most iconic scenes from jurassic park brought to us in toy form here with this set from mattel the Dilophosaurus, although not exactly accurate to what we see on the Dilophosaurus in Jurassic Park, is a pretty fun release, and I do really quite like the paint job on it. We do have other Dilophosaurus that I feel like are a little more accurate to a Jurassic Park style version, so you can always switch this one out for the more accurate kind of looking one that we have had previously. Nedry himself is really well done. I feel like the likeness of Nedry was pretty much perfectly captured within figure form here. It has some really nice articulation. 
like all of the Mattel human figures do. It's no different than any of the other Mattel figures, though, as far as articulation goes. So I didn't really even need to go over that. The dinosaurs, you never know exactly what will be articulated. The human figures always seem to have the exact same articulation, and that's exactly what we find with Nedry. But I feel like the sculpt is really beautifully done. The paint on Nedry is really nice, carefully done all over the place, and I'm really excited to see an alternate version of Nedry here and in general, Nedry getting another release aside from the exclusive figure that we had previously because not too many people were able to acquire that one. So it's nice to have another one here, a little bit more of a widespread release than the previous one, obviously. It's just, it's not the same figure. So the other one does still have a really strong collectability standpoint. This one's a totally new Nedry figure, but it's still awesome to have one in general. And then the Jeep, although it's missing the red stripe, is fantastic, really nostalgic, and beautifully done here on the part of Mattel, really completing the overall scene and set, including the venom for the Dilophosaurus and even the stick that we can throw for the Dilophosaurus itself. This set is absolutely awesome, so make sure that you head to your local Target as it is supposed to start showing up in store and actually has already begun showing up in some people's stores. So again, make sure you keep checking your local Target. If I can include a link on target.com i will i don't know for sure that the link is still up but i'll do my best to include it in the description regardless otherwise make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching